Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. One of the area which I felt could be very important from the exam point of view. That is, what are the differences between UI automation and computer vision? If any kind of any format question comes around this topic, I think this table would help you to quickly select the right answers. So let us go through it. Now this is also available in UiPath Academy Computer Vision, AI Computer Vision. I'm going to show you. Uh, there is a topic here um, in this chapter, Computer Vision versus UI Automation Activities. Okay, And here there is a nicely it has been described. And I just have jotted down the important bullet points which will help you. So let me first explain what are the differences. Now first thing, UI automation. UI automation will use selectors. We know that it uses selectors. This is the important point. The keyword is selector. Okay. You can go through the entire point, but you have already know the when you do go for a UI automation, that means user interface automation, the selector is used. You select an element that is the selector. However, in computer vision uses a machine learning server, the neural network server, and a text OCR detection to identify UI elements such as buttons, text, checkboxes. It captures the visual content of all the elements on the screen, more like a human being. So if you see, I just kept two important points. It uses selectors and it captures the visual content of all the elements on the screen using the technologies. So what are the different technologies used for computer vision? Then you can just remember this couple of points. AI, wherein you have object detection, OCR, optical character recognition, fuzzy text matching, image matching. These are the couple of things that you can remember. Okay. So this is the technology behind the scene. And for you, for the selectors, the technology uses selectors, anchor base, fuzzy selectors, image automation. That is the difference. And here we use AI, OCR, fuzzy text matching, new image matching. So couple of these are the different, the technology is different from both of it. Okay. The next bullet point, let me show you in both the documentation and how I have jotted down. And I would advise all of you to prepare a similar sheet so that you can jot down the bullet points because having the entire sentence during your preparation, uh, you, if you have a bullet point, it becomes quite easy to quickly recall. Now next is the second point is scrolling. Now in UI automation, if your web page, right, when you scroll, if it is lengthy, there is some, there is a term called infinite scrolling. That means as much time you scroll down, the content is going to load. You have seen such certain pages, more you go down, the content will keep on loading, keep on loading, keep on loading, more like your Facebook, right? You go scroll down, keep on loading, keep, it will load some of the other thing. So those are known as infinite scrolling where new content is loaded automatically as the user scrolls down. Now there is definitely a challenge while we go for a UI automation when there is a scrolling option, right? Uh, infinite scrolling seamlessly. UI automation tools may find it challenging to handle infinite scrolling seamlessly, wherein computer vision provides a runtime auto scroll support. This topic with practical I have shown in the delayed screen refresh, the previous video. Okay. So the important point here to remember challenging, you know, it has challenges to handle the infinite scrolling wherein computer vision can easily handle it using the runtime auto scroll feature that is available with delayed screen refresh. Now, if this sentence does not make sense, you must watch my previous video on delayed screen refresh. Okay. Next one extracts structured table. Let me show you the next difference. UI automation can extract the structured tables and saves it as a data table object that can then be further used in your automation process. Now, sometimes you have seen some of our websites will have multiple different layouts of a table. So there is a table where it has got two columns and below that there's another combined table. So it will have a varieties of structure. It is not a simple structure uh, which UI automation can deal. Computer vision can deal with variety of structures. So let's read this. Uses computer vision extract table activity. Let me show you. There is something called extract table activity in computer vision. Okay. 
to recognize and extract tables from documents with varying layout structures and designs so multiple different formats of table that you could have seen in the websites can be handled using the computer vision so the point here is use a cv extractable activity to recognize and extract tables with varying layout structures and designs got it okay and then technology we have seen so these are the major four differences and also very important point you should note right why do you need why do you need computer vision to automate virtual desktop environments like citrix vmware and windows remote desktop where you have a couple of applications running inside a virtual desktop environment where direct access to the application ui element is limited if it is there on your computer you have opened a virtual desktop interface and there's an application running that is where you will have challenge to select the ui element using the normal selectors that is where computer vision is has the purpose of you you know giving you that ability to work or automate an application which is currently running inside a virtual desktop however you can apply the computer vision on the application directly running on your computer okay however it is primarily made for areas where your ui elements your heart you know it, it becomes quite difficult to detect the ui elements of the application so the very important point make a note create a sheet like this okay so that it helps you during your preparation thank you guys for watching let's meet once again in our next content